Hi everyone, welcome to scrapbook.com. My name is Alexandra from Maker Forte and today I want to tell you about the most magical craft supply you can add to your craft room. We call it Fairy Floss and it is so versatile. You're going to love this. Whether you do stamping or mixed media or you like to add a little bit of bling to your projects, this is going to be a ton of fun. We currently have the first four colors right here. We have Moscow Mule. Look how gorgeous that is, the way it just changes color in there. We have our Aurora Borealis, our Mint Chip, and Pluto. And one thing I will say about Maker Forte colors is if you see Aurora as a color, we also have an Aurora Glitter. Everything is going to match as close as we possibly can. Those colors all coordinate as best as we absolutely can. So. I want to tell you all the different ways to use fairy floss, but then I would be here all day. So I'm picking out my favorites today and we'll come back and do more another time. So we're going to start with our stamp platform and I'm going to stamp out using flirty flamingos because you can tell I clearly am a flamingo fan with all of my pink and my little spirit animal here. So let's put this onto our cardstock. This is a really pretty stamp and you can use half of it I, or the other half. Um, it looks beautiful colored in monochrome and things, but it will also fit a true slimline card as well. So I'm also stamping it out with Flamingo. You can sense the theme of today's video a little bit. And now I'm going to push this down and we're going to smush to get our outline. And I'm just going to take this as one color like this. Now, of course, you could color this in as well if you love to color. But even just doing this or maybe adding a splash of watercolor is a really great way to get a beautiful image. And top tip for you, because I do this all the time, either keep your turnabout tool in here, your placement tool, when you put your stamp down and make sure your mats on your stamp platforms don't get dirty or just pull the mouse pads out if your stamp platform has one. And when you close the lid, nothing gets dirty. It's ready for your next stamp later on. Now I'm going to take a little pair of scissors and I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'm just going to start the fussy cut. So I'm going to pick the easy side over here without the headdress. And I want to just start cutting into here as well. I'm just doing a rough fussy cut for this one because I really want to just show you the idea of how this comes together. I'll just cut down here. So once you've fussy cut out your image and put it on, Fairy Floss is the perfect thing. You can just take some Maker's Magic adhesive or your scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive. And look, you can put some pieces down just to add that little bit of like a feathery effect, that extra touch on there as well. So that's one way you can do it is just pull out a bunch, stick it down and create pieces that way. But we re-engineered uh, fairy floss to work with your mink machines, your laminators, because lots of us have those because we do all of this foiling that's super trendy. So I want to show you how you create your own papers using fairy floss. So I'm going to pick out some Aurora Borealis here. And let's pick out some Pluto as well. Now you can uh, sew with this as well. Once I've made this uh, custom paper, you can stamp on it with archival ink. You can um, emboss it, which I'm going to show you how to do as well. You can die cut it. You can just use it as a piece of paper. Honestly, it is endless, the things you can do with this. So like I say, I could be here all day. So I'm just really pulling out pieces and I'm putting a little bit of Moscow Mule through it because I like that little hint of dark that it gives you. And now we're going to put it through our mink machine. I like to have it on a three to four setting. And you can either use the mink carrier sheets or we also have uh, the Maker Forte Easy Carry Sheets. Now these are a silicone coated paper so that nothing will stick to it. So if you're doing foiling or fairy floss or whatever it happens to be, they come in this half sheet and they come in a jumbo sheet as well. So it comes in the wider format too. And I like these because nothing's going to stick to them because of that uh, silicone coating that is on the paper. Sometimes I've had some issues with stuff sticking to this, but you can absolutely use those if that's what you have in your craft room. But I recommend the silicone coating. So we're going to just run it through your mink machine. And as I say, you're creating your own custom paper. Every piece you make is going to come out differently. You're never going to have two pieces that come out the same. Another fun way I like to do this. And a little bit really goes a long way. So one pack and you're going to be able to make tons and tons of cards, whether it's for the holidays, birthdays, 
all those kinds of things. Think of this on your mixed media and your collage projects as well, paired with some of those fun mediums. So once it comes out, you don't need to wait for it to dry or cool down or anything at all. It is ready to go. Literally all I'm gonna do is open this up and you'll notice the heat has intensified the colors as well. So I have this beautifully thin piece of custom paper slash fabric. As I say, you can take this and you can stamp on it with archival ink. You can take this and sew with it. You can cut something out. You can die cut it, put it under your words. Use your, uh, like your stacked dies, like our stack circles or things like that. Um, but my favorite way to do this is to use my embossing folders. So I'm gonna grab those out so I can show you the amazing effects we can make. So I have my Sizzix switch here and we're going to use our large base plate and one of these top pieces because I'm actually using a 3D embossing folder. I'm using the crocheted mandala here from Sizzix and Eileen Hull. And I love Eileen. She's one of our designers for her stamps. So I'm gonna just put this in here, just like a regular piece of paper. You don't need to spritz it. You don't need to do anything. You're just gonna put it straight inside, put it into your die cutting sandwich right here. And then we're just gonna send it through. It's as easy as that. And this is really going to sprinkle something a little bit special into those paper crafting projects. Maybe you do it with a stencil and emboss with it with your rubber mats as well. You can have so much fun. I can't wait to see how you're gonna use this. And of course, ready for the magic moment. Look how gorgeous that is. The way it picks up the light, that texture is all in there. Now you could cut it, you could sew it, you can do all kinds of fun things with it. So I hope you enjoy using Fairy Floss and bringing a little bit of magic to your craft room.